Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. Uh, this is April the 16th. I'm going to read to you uh, from this little book again, Revival Today. April the 16th, 1896. The Joy of Soul Winning. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 126, 6. Happiness eludes most people in this life. Even God's people struggle to maintain their joy. The trials of life wear away at us. And the burdens steal our strength and happiness. In those seasons, there is a sure way to renew our joy. Lee Scarborough was attending Yale University and felt that the Lord wanted him to preach God's word. He would later describe his experience in Old Farnham Hall at Yale University in my room on my bed with a broken heart I yielded. I thank God that since that time I have been trying to do his will. God took that broken heart and molded a servant. His preaching would have profound influence on the ministry of evangelist John R. Rice and Hyman Appleman. He would later preach, Oh, the joys and rich spiritual experiences of those who win souls. As I look back across the 55 years of my little life, I remember a happy home, though it was in a log house on the frontiers of Texas, the joy of a gloriously good father and mother, and remember the joys of my own happy home through now 25 years with my blessed companion and our six children. As I look back over the years and study and recount the intellectual joy and camaraderie, camarad, comradeship of my friend and remember the social joys of my heart, when I have been permitted by this time Savior to bring to him scarlet women, infidels, atheists, gamblers, murderers, whoremongers, moralists, and all sorts, thousands and thousands of them. There is no joy like the joy of soul winning. So he's, he's telling of all these people that he's won to the Lord. When? is the last time you shared the good news of the gospel. Have you given anyone a gospel track recently? Have you shared your testimony with someone in your family, at your workplace, or in your neighborhood? God promises that if we go with his message of salvation and a broken heart for the lost, we will have fruit. And the joy that accompanies that fruit is unparalleled by any earthly happiness we could hope to attain. Now, I know you may think that I'm going to sing Bringing in the Sheaves, and you would be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song that my dad taught me to sing whenever I was just a boy, and I've never forgot it. It, it is uh, it's very piercing if you listen to the words of it, and not how I sing it, piercing, but the words to the heart of the person who needs to be a witness to those around him. When in the better land Before the bar we stand How deeply grieved our souls may be If any lost one there should cry in deep despair you never mentioned him to me you never mentioned him to me nor day and you knew I was astray yet never mentioned him to me 
That yonder none may say, You showed me not the way. You never mentioned him to me. You never mentioned him to me. You You met me day by day, and you knew I was astray, yet never mentioned him to me. A few sweet words may guide a lost one to his side, or turn sad eyes on Calvary. So work as days go by, that yonder none may cry. You never mentioned him to me. You never to me you help me not the light to see you met me day by day and you knew I was astray yet never mentioned him to me You met me day by day, and you knew I was astray, yet you never mentioned him to me. My prayer is, is that no one is able to say that about me or you. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, help us to be strong witnesses for you in the time that you would have us to, with the people that you would have us witness to. God, you know our abilities and our inabilities. But God, help us to continue to shine the light of God's love. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Saturday.